borderline medical malpractice if a doctor doesn't try everything in his power, regardless of what the ass of the New York Times say. Let me ask you, do you think that the media has reached a new point now with the Trump derangement syndrome and their coverage of the coronavirus? Do you, yes. I understand there are reasonable conversations to have, by the way, on do we yes. need, should we have acted sooner, right? How much of a reaction is an overreaction? Do we need yeah. to take into account the economy or yeah. just take into account people's health and safety? These are yeah. conversations that are being had and I think should be had. And of course, I think we should err on the side of caution. As it relates to chloroquine, this is Hmm. something, to me, if chloroquine turns out to be beneficial at all in fighting coronavirus, it will hand Donald Trump the election. So let me, before we get into this whole video, let me give you some bullet points here. The left is trying to say that Donald Trump told people to take it at home without the care of a doctor. He did not. Mm. They're trying to say that there's very little science behind this. That's not true. That there are no human studies. That's not true. That there are no in vitro studies. That's not true. That it has no promise. That's not true. As a matter of fact, Democrat governors are using it. It's been used across the country for a very long time and across the globe. Yep. We'll get it doesn't mean it's a cure, just like Donald Trump right. didn't say it's a cure. But the idea that people are trying to blame Donald Trump with this for stupid actions, and we'll get to this, very stupid actions, mind you. <laughs> extra, extra stupid. On behalf yes. of a select few. Um, <laughs> I think we have an overlay here. This, you'll see this from all these news headlines. They're trying to portray Donald Trump as against uh, science. And this is the point where the media, the hysteria now, is not only about scoring political points, but even though it's not as deadly a virus as many have touted it to be, it is a deadly virus, it can certainly have deadly consequences consequences to misreport, as they are doing right now, on the science, the advancements that are being made with potential treatments for coronavirus in order to score political points on Trump. In case you think I'm making this up, roll tape. An Arizona couple unfortunately made the mistake of Less taking production, more makeup. drug that's known <laughs> as uh, chloroquine because they heard Donald Trump talking about how it's a possible treatment for coronavirus. Now, tragically, uh, this couple living in Arizona really did suffer the consequences of listening to someone who has no medical expertise. Uh, The man unfortunately died soon after taking the drug and uh, his wife was in critical condition. Okay, Uh, first off, he didn't take the drug, which is why I'm not entirely sure that it's that unfortunate. Hold your thoughts here. Wait until I (laughs) get to the actual information. It's not just the Young Turks, I want to be really clear, because those hacks, no, no, not just those hacks, the entire media, they jumped on this smear campaign. Here you go, Global News, NPR, Guardian, New York Daily News. Just listen right now to NBC News uh, as they try to get the woman in question, whose husband died, to place... Talk about leading questions. Yeah. Here you go. Did you see the president's press conference? Where did you hear about? <laughs> Where did the yeah, teacher right. touch yeah. you? We saw, the, exactly. we saw his press conference. It was on a lot, actually. And then what? And then what? Did you did you seek out chloroquine? <laughs> Queen? I had it in the house because I I used to have koi fish. What would be your message to the American public? Oh my God! Don't take anything. I, don't believe anything. Don't believe anything. The president says. Yep, yeah, I know. Oh, Not related goodness. to the Averys, shockingly enough. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Wow. I know some of you are confused. I, I didn't set up context here uh, on purpose. We're like, what? what? Chlor- chloroquine fish tank? What? Yeah. Outlets have been running a stock image of what looks like a doctor holding pills, but what the couple actually drank, that lady included, was fish tank cleaner. So what the headlines look like is this, but what they should really look like is this, just to be clear. That is what <laughs> actually happened. Jeez. Yeah, oh fish God. tank cleaner because it had a similar sounding name wow. and that's President Trump's fault. Listen, we talk about coming together, unity in this country. We are all one fighting an invisible foe with the virus and you want to blame the President of the United States and really indict this entire administration by default because someone drank fish tank cleaner? Yeah, because it happened to have a name that looked similar. It's not even, it's like chloroquine phosphate was in fault? this product. But by the way, here's the thing. A lot of other stuff was in the product. It's not just that in fish tank cleaner. So why would you say, oh, well, good. I don't have COVID-19 right now, right? I don't have coronavirus, but I'm going to take this anyway because it, it kills coronavirus that I don't have. And it has other stuff, but I'm okay a, with that. Yeah, and how does that dumb bitch afford a koi pond? They're a expensive. Lot, a lot exotic of animal. Here's, by the way, another outlet, okay, Bloomberg, uh, they ran an article <laughs> warning people that the drug could kill chloroquine with just two grams. A lot of medications can kill with massive overdoses, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Two grams just sounds like so little. So they've been making all of these claims about chloroquine. And here's the thing. Chloroquine could be a game changer. This is yeah. important for people who need it. You can We can find all kinds of anecdotal reports from celebrities to people who've used it, but 
That's not what we're going to use. We want to get into the actual peer-reviewed studies and data that we have, despite the fact that people like the Young Turks and these other publications are claiming that the drug has not been approved, that uh, no efficacy has been proven, and that it's only supported. But here, just let, let them say it so that we can prove. It's just, it's, it, it's bullshit. Go. The problem is chloroquine worked based on some anecdotal evidence. There are a few studies done. <laughs> Um, they were limited in scope. It's very wrong. Listen to one part she said in there where she said he said it was already approved. And he did. He talked about, oh, the FDA sped this up. Normally, they take a long time. It's a terrible this Trump one, accent. It's, yeah. uh, you know, already uh, in great shape. No, it makes it sound like it was already approved when it has not been approved. It, it is makes approved it drug. sound like it is an approved drug. It's a absolutely. cure. It is absolutely. Right now, there is no cure. He didn't say that it was a cure. It is nope. absolutely yeah, right. an approved drug by the FDA. To be clear, chloroquine has been widely used throughout the entire world, approved in the United States since, yep. was it 1947, 1949? 49, 49. Oh, there you go. You have an overlay. Thank God we have people who are on the ball. I was off by yeah. perhaps two <laughs> years. Uh, people have been taking it for Close 70 enough. years. Now, let's be clear. It hasn't been specifically labeled as a treatment for coronavirus because some would argue, depending on whether they believe Chinese propaganda or not, whether it came from Wuhan or it came from the United States troops in somewhere in no November, December, okay? Depending on which yeah. new publication you read. That could be uh, Beijing Daily or New York Times, but I repeat myself. By the way, <laughs> uh, hit the notification <laughs> bell. We are going to have all the updates tomorrow, Free Mug Club Month, the entire month. We're going to do everything in front of the paywall while you're quarantined, along with uh, thrice a week morning show uh, yep. because we want to get yeah. back. We know that a lot of you are going to uh, get a little stir crazy, especially if you watch more of these clips. Here's the crazy thing to me. It really bothers me with, with chloroquine because I'm yeah. people often get mad when you talk about climate change. Like You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor right there. They just said Donald Trump who has no medical expertise. Yeah. Sounds to me like you were voicing an opinion on a medical issue. Mm -hmm. You don't have medical expertise. Doesn't matter. You can have an opinion. I've had doctors give me the wrong prescription yeah. before. I had doctors give me a treatment that didn't work. I said, oh, doc, this doesn't work. They go, oh, well, thanks for catching that. I'm not, it doesn't mean I'm a doctor. <laughs> You're supposed to shut up and yeah. take it, Stephen. I can look at the data that's available. When we talk, they say chloroquine is not approved. It is approved, okay? Right. It has been approved by the FDA, and it's used off-label. People have been really just trying to, to muddy the waters here. There have been many studies, by the way, including peer-reviewed, which have shown chloroquine to be an effective treatment, right? A lot of promise, and potentially a prophylactic. One of these studies had a 100% efficacy rate yeah. in France. Oh. Okay. Absolutely. And if only Donald Trump had said something like that, that would have clarified the situation, that he wasn't actually prescribing people to go out and take it, but he said, yeah. if it works, great. If it doesn't work, I don't know. I think it might work. I think that's exactly what clear, he said. When he said if, he wasn't referring to Koi Pond Cleaner. No. I want yeah, to really yeah, clear. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. to make that crystal His clear. His Koi yeah. Pond <laughs> sponsorship is up, right. too. So. Yeah, exactly. It's Big Koi. <laughs> oh. It's always Big Koi. Some people like the, you know, yeah, obviously the Young Turks, the New York Times, they've been saying, something else they've been saying that really bothers me. That wasn't that specific clip where they say, it's actually, it hasn't been proven, it's only been proven even like yeah. in, a, in a Petri dish. No, no, I think the word that you were looking for was in vitro, okay? Um, <laughs> that's also not true. We no. need to be really clear here. There have been multiple studies, peer-reviewed studies in humans. You have one in France. It's been used, of course, obviously uh, in South Korea, I believe China, um, Belgium, other places. places across the yeah. world. And then after that, keep in mind, they said this is working with people. It's undeniable that something is working. And so they did try to study it at a molecular level in vitro, meaning in a petri dish, to find out the mechanism of action. And here's the interesting yeah. thing. They said, hey, this seems to be working to, to varying degrees in human beings. Why does it work? Let's examine it. And they found a plausible me wow. uh, mechanism of action. I can't explain it because, again, I'm not a medical expert. Something to do with cell protection and death, but don't take my word for it and certainly don't take their word for it. <laughs> the treatment has been, uh, wh where's it been used? Where's it been used? I'm trying to think. China, uh, China, China Canada, 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 Belgium, Belgium South, South Korea. Korea. Yeah. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, it, the results have been so promising, the World Health Authority, they just announced a global mega trial of the yeah. most promising therapies for coronavirus. One of them is chloroquine. While we're talking about Donald Trump and how terrible he is, New York, they've received 750,000 doses of chloroquine, 70,000 wow. doses of hydroxychloroquine, and Governor Cuomo announced that they're going to be running the trial immediately. On the drug therapy, uh, Tuesday, we're going to start the... Uh, hydroxychloroquine with the Zithromax, that's the uh, drug combination that the president has been talking about. 
the FDA approved New York State Department of Health. What did he just say? To mm. proceed with an Something about FDA drug. approval? No. Again, well, he wasn't uh, saying it's FDA approved in a national no. It's almost like context matters. <laughs> almost. Yeah. <laughs> almost like context <laughs> matters. Here. This is what's so crazy. And, and then I'm going to, we do have to get going. So did you have something that you wanted yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to say this. So what Trump was trying to say here, the, the entire conversation was. That's we have, President Trump. Sorry. What President Sir. Trump was trying to say is that we have a medication that has existed in the world. Maybe it's been used for something else, yes. but we don't have to come up with a new drug that we have no idea how the side effects are going to affect people. Right. We know all of those things. All we have to do is dial in the treatment and see if it works. That was his whole point. And then he gets lambasted and raked over the coals for saying, you're giving people false... No, I'm not giving people false hope. I'm saying there's something out there that might work and we're and working on And that's another thing. What, is a president not supposed... This isn't false hope. It's hope. Would he you prefer that the president doesn't, doesn't give any hope? Just going out like Kermit, we're gonna die! What yeah. do you want him to do? Yeah. <laughs> he shouldn't say, hey, there's a lot of promise, by the way. Yeah. And if not, three, four, five studies, and then an in vitro study that shows a reasonable mechanism of action. If you can't sound the alarm, the positive alarm in this case, like yeah. the Rikola okay. guy at the top of the mountain, to tell people that, hey, there is some hope out there for something that would work. When can you ever say it? Trump Only after phase right, three really. clinical yeah, trials, which by the way, these people tend to hate because they prefer alternative medicine. Right. That's yeah. something that I love now too. <laughs> right now we're waiting for the privatized sector to come up with more masks, to come up with more respirators, to come up with hopefully better treatments. No one's chewing on Kashtanga Route, right? No one's going to see their herbalist. And this is so funny to me where they tried to say, oh, well, hold on a second. This isn't approved. Well, what do you mean? Hold on a second. It, it has been approved in the United States and it can be prescribed off label. Let's be clear. This is why off label prescribing is allowed. It's for extreme yeah. scenarios like this. Now it's been abused where doctors off label prescribe things that they shouldn't be. And sometimes people abuse it because they want to get high. That does happen, but clearly not the, the case with chloroquine. No one gets yeah. a chloroquine buzz. So it has been approved. <laughs> it's gone through the trials. This is what I I've been reading a lot. They say, well, uh, usually it has to go through phase one, two, and three clinical trials. And it's a really, yeah. really small percentage of something that goes yeah. through those different phases of trials. That's absolutely true. Why? One of the biggest reasons is not even whether they work or not, but what kind of side effects they have. Chloroquine has already been approved because it has been proven to be within a, re within a reasonable boundary. Treatable. A safe yeah. drug that people can use. And it's been prescribed off-label for a very long time, again, because it seems it's for arthritis, for HIV. And in this case, this is something that's funny too to me, the people who tend to prefer alternative medicine, now all of a sudden, we're talking about the stringent standard of clinical trials. We need a double, double blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial. Do you have any idea how hard that is to do? This is the same reason it bothers me when people go, well, the big pharma industry, they haven't come up with a cure for cancer, only treatments. Do you know why? Because when someone is dying of cancer, it's really hard to say, hey, there's this new experimental treatment. Are you willing to enter into a blind trial? Well, what does that mean? It means you're 50 50 shot, you get a sugar pill. No, I don't want <laughs> yeah. to do that because I'm bald. I look like Charlie yeah. Brown with the progeria special. Do you understand this? I don't want to go into some blind controlled trial where a doctor doesn't even know. Especially right. in this scenario, who is going to put forward the money and who is going to want to participate in a blind, double blind, placebo controlled clinical trial if they have corona? virus. They're one of the cases where they could be at risk of death and they don't need to go through a trial because their doctor can prescribe it to them immediately off label. And if someone's alternative is potentially dying tomorrow or not making it through the night because they're 85 years old with pneumonia and living on a respirator, dear God, it's borderline medical malpractice if a doctor doesn't try everything in his power regardless of what the ass of the New York Times say. So when we talk about unity, this is something that really bothers me. Let's find some common ground. Really, common ground. You are willing right now, you're saying that Donald Trump is going to let people die by allowing people to go pick up a beer at a store sometime before Easter, that if we stop this quarantine where young, healthy people can go out and contribute to the economy so they have jobs to come back to, that he doesn't care about human life when you are deliberately misleading people and trying to kill trying to kill hope for a treatment that in this scenario for a drug that has been approved for over half a century and there's no financial incentive or very little financial incentive to conduct clinical trials we have the best possible case scenario that we could have at this point a few large sample studies and an in vitro study that shows a reasonable mechanism of action but instead you in order to score political points are willing to let people die because you hate donald trump Trump. Bravo! Come together right now over the New York Times. Go screw yourself. <sighs> I forgot to breathe there for a second, and now I'm sounding like the teenager from The Simpsons. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, one of these videos is playing in a box, and come back to the live stream Thursday at, uh, it's 8 p.m., right?
8 p.m. Eastern, because we'll be talking about the free Mug Club Month, where we'll be doing the entire show, not just for Mug Club members, but all of you who are getting cabin fever amid the quarantine. And hey, don't forget, uh, eat your vegetables, drink your milk, take your chloroquine.